Hello everybody, in this Rhino basic modeling tutorial, I would like to talk about the modeling of a tape dispenser. Okay, let's start. As you can see on screen, I've already um, created the necessary uh, construction lines that are defining the boundaries and some of the constraints for the design. Okay, and now I would like to start to create the the curves that will be used to generate our first surface okay so i will start by creating the base curve over here and i will do so using the control point curve okay okay by the way if you are not familiar with how i go about creating this kind of construction lines you might want to click on this label over here to go to uh, a previous uh, video tutorial okay okay now let's come back over here and proceed to create our curve here so uh, with the necessary object snaps turned on namely the end the near and the intersect uh, let's proceed to start uh, adding control points okay so um this will be the first uh location for the first point and then the subsequent ones um will be will be along here until it goes to the end there okay So do not be too concerned about getting it right the first time because we can always do some fine adjustments later on. Okay. okay let's uh, do a bit of adjustments. Okay. Things to take note is that the second point should be aligned to the first control point okay so this to ensure that when we do a, a surface that this surface uh, over here will be flat that means it's a tangentially match okay so make sure this this uh, second point is uh, in this case a uh, horizontally aligned to the first control point over here okay Okay, this is the area where I need to allow for the width of the tape so I cannot have this uh, region coming over here so I need to move this away further something like that yeah. to make sure that we are only using the least amount of control point to express the, the profile Okay, maybe something like that will do okay and okay, now I want to mirror this onto the other side so I'm going to use the mirror command so ask me select object to mirror this the object and enter so start of the mirror axis or plane so um, using the end or intersect this is the first point this is the second point okay so we got this curve okay and now let's proceed to create the side side profiles okay and clicking on the control point curve i'm going to make sure the object end is turned on okay now let's move to a different view to continue our work okay so i want to create this something like that okay you might want to know move from be able to move from one view to another view uh, to get your curve right okay so, so i got my curve and now let's uh, proceed to do a bit of fine adjustments
Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, and let's proceed to create the other side. Okay, let's do a bit of fine adjustments. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay. Now, uh, let's try to make the first surface and see what happens, okay? So, I'm going to click the join to join these two curves as a single unit. And... Let's try sweep one rail and see what happens, okay? Sweep one rail, under surface creation, go to sweep one rail. So this will be my rail. This will be my cross sections, okay? You notice that over here, the surface seems to have gone haywired. That's because we are not uh, controlling this, this region over here, okay? So, what, what we can do um, now is to create another curve over here as an additional constraint. Okay, so I'm going to click cancel and create another curve over here. I also take this opportunity to highlight to you some of the issues that might occur if you are drawing a curve that is off the construction plane. Okay, so I'm going to use the control point curve method again. So this is my first uh, point. I click the end. Okay, let's go to the top view to, to do our work. Okay, you notice if you look at the perspective view, something seems to have gone wrong. The curve seems to be deep downwards. Okay. So why is that so? Okay, that's because we are actually drawing a curve that is off this construction plane. So because the first control point was um, was created using an object snap, the point is actually able to move out of the construction planes. However, the subsequent points were not con were not in any way uh, controlled by the object snap, and thus they all move back to the construction planes resulting in this kind of uh, effect okay so how do we circumvent this problem to solve this problem what you need to do is simply to turn on the planner okay there's a planner over here and see what happens okay so i'm going to do the same thing again control point curve let's move over to the top view okay now if you were to look at the perspective view you notice that the problem is actually solved now. The control points have been created on a new height, okay, the correct height. Let's come over here to to uh, finish it, okay? Yeah, so I got something like that, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do is um, do a little bit of fine adjustments, okay? As mentioned previously, uh, the, the first and the second point should be aligned to the first point if you want to create something that is uh, flat over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, snap it there, and pull out using the uh, arrow on the gumball. Okay? And I think I want this part to be more sharp. Okay, I also take this opportunity to show you uh, insert control point. Okay? So you can actually insert a control point. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, insert a control point. So you can click on this and then click down. So they get a very, uh, they got a sharper turn over here. Okay. And we're going to do the same for this. I think I want to insert a control point over here as well. Okay, something like that.
Okay. Now let's proceed to mirror this onto the other side. Okay, and then join these two curves together. Okay. Now let's uh, create the surface again. Okay, but this time round, we have to use the sweep tool rail because we added another uh, set of um, rail curve. So I'm going to click on the sweep tool rail. This is the first rail, second rail, cross section, cross section, enter. Okay, now you notice that we are able to have a better control over this edge. Okay, so click on the sweep, uh, the close sweep to complete the surface creation and then click OK. Okay. Okay, now what I want to do is to create the top profile. Okay. Heading over to the right view, you want to create the top profile uh, to be something like that. Okay, but um, just to be on the safe side, let's uh, be able to see from several views. Okay, so something like that. I'm going to use the control point curve method again. So maybe I can use this as my first uh, point. something like that okay so let's come over here okay you notice that we have this problem of the curve like getting snapped and move to a new location so let's try to fix this okay So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the control points on, points on, select all these control points, okay, and then get them to uh, snap over here, okay. If you got it right the first time, it's fine, okay. Let's turn on the perpendicular so we can move this, yep, yep, so now it's correct, okay. And then let's um, proceed to do a bit of fine adjustments. Okay. Maybe I want this part to be slightly lower, something like that. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, maybe this part need to be uh, higher.
okay something like that okay so now um let's proceed to create a surface from this so clicking on this uh, we can use the um extrude straight okay so select curve to extrude this the curve to extrude enter and then uh turn the both side to yes okay so that we are extruding on both sides okay make sure that when you did the when you're doing the extrusion that the the edge here is uh, extending beyond this this uh edge of the first uh surface so that we can uh perform a proper trim okay okay and then uh, i think we will proceed to do a trim but before that just to be sure that we are able to get a proper trim i will want to extend this uh surface okay using the extend surface command so surface tools this one extend surface select on this and we can set the the line type to the type to be line and just uh, move it up like that something like that okay okay yep so uh let's uh proceed to do the trim So let's uh, click on the trim, select cutting object, so this is my cutting object, object to trim, okay, this object, down trim, let's perform it again. This time round, this is the cutting object, and the region that we want to trim is uh, this, this area here, okay, yeah, so we get something like that, okay. Okay, with that I come to the end of part 1. Bye!